is your time. It does not matter whether you are in Uganda, whether you are in Mogadishu, anywhere. It can happen to you. Was she the only woman in the Ugandan Defense Forces then? Well, as promised, today we remember one of the strongest women in the Ugandan People's Defense Forces back in 2007. That was during the fight to get rid of the Al Shabaab in Mogadishu. <laughs> Roslyn Nabutebi joined the UPDF after his husband was fired and they had nothing to depend on as a source of income. She worked hard during the training and emerged as one of the best shooters, which made her rise to the ranks from a trainee to a gunner, her main work being to take out the snipers. I was social cautious about the snipers. As I was moving on my gun, I was so steady. I could keep looking around watching the snipers. What does she reassure us about policemen and licensed gunmen? Seeing me with a gun doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to kill someone I come across. It is for self-defense, for my protection and also for their protection. But is it the case in our today's society? That's rhetorical. Joining the defense forces has to be a personal choice, one that you are sure you won't regret and pull out later. This is because it comes with a lot of sacrifices, one of them of course being to stay away from your family members. I also don't feel so much good because I'm ever away. Even my children, they need parental care. We faced a financial crisis, so I had to go and look for work. Because the work I was doing, I was just volunteering. I was not getting anything, so I decided to join UPDF, where I started getting salary. One has to have supportive family members who once in a while encourage them whenever they meet. A faithful and trustful partner is a plus. Rosalind Namutebi actually thanks God for such a husband. If someone doesn't have true love, actually they go on messing around. Because I know that's what scares most men. Staying away, staying away from the wife for some time, you will be scared that maybe you will meet the wife when she has messed up. Eh? But with me, my husband, trust he has in me. Eh? I could say maybe it is a hundred percent. Being the only woman who was a gunner then made her popular, and she quickly made friends with almost everyone, including the cooks. But then jagala yogati, nikati ya agenze kuleta apples. What she was happy about Uganda, though, is that there was gender inequality in everything. Sometime back, I used to be for men only, but I praise Uganda because there is gender equality. Man can be a driver, and a woman also can be a driver. Man can be a gunner, woman also can be a gunner. Engineers. Doctors, everything. In fact, what a man can do, actually, a woman also can do. Those living for Red Mosque? Well, only one quote kept her going during the war in Somalia. As a soldier, you don't need to have that fear. Because they normally say there is no retreat and no surrender. So all that fear, you have to forget about it when you are going for a mission. One thing, though, always made her worried. I'm offended they are calling. Uh, I've just been told that Isaac's situation, uh, that there is no improvement. You are planning to, to take him also to the church. My sick brother, they told me they are going to take him out from the hospital and then they take him to church. As I conclude, what should be remembered from Namutebi's story is all soldiers' mental health should be a key priority to every government. Women empowerment should equally be looked into and all women encouraged to do whatever they see fit for them so long as it's not against the laws of the land. I totally agree with Rosalind Namutebi that whatever men can do, women can also do. What an inspiration from the Ghana. I am Nokla Murunga, Africa Rebirth.